In this video, I'm going to be answering the question on if you should be wearing a bra to sleep, if it's good, if it's bad, and what I personally do. My name is Maya and on this channel, I help women build confidence by being healthy, wealthy, and wise. I'm gonna give a little bit of background on me. So if you're new to my channel, you've never seen any videos from me, you're probably like, who is this girl and why am I taking advice from her? Especially advice about like my boobs, right? Well, my name is Maya and I am a 34 triple D. Yep, 34 triple D and I honestly think I'm an F, but that's neither here nor there. I'm actually a late developer compared to like the girls around me, but by my sophomore year, I was like a full C and I say like full, full C. And then they just kept growing child. Like they just, they never stopped. They just kept growing. And right now I'm the size that I am and I've been that size. Maybe like a few years, but sometimes the band size fluctuates. When I lose weight, obviously it was a time I was like a 36 triple D. Now I'm a 34. All of that being said, that basically means I have about 10 years of just a personal experience on how I navigate having big boobs, tips and tricks, and just things that I have been through. So I am actually the perfect person for you to take advice on, especially on this subject. So before I answer the question on if you should wear a bra to sleep, I'm gonna tell you what I actually do. I wear a bra to sleep almost every day. Yep almost every day. I personally believe that by wearing a bra to sleep, it has prevented my boobs from sagging. Now sis, let's be real. When you have big boobs, they are going to sag. Well, okay, correction. When you have natural big boobs, they're gonna sag a little bit. Like there's a thing called gravity and there's no way to really get around that, okay? If you're blessed, okay. For me to have big boobs, I don't think they're extremely saggy. I don't think that they're very low. I think that they're actually kind of perky considering how big they are. And I believe that is because I wear a bra to sleep. There is no scientific research showing that wearing a bra to sleep will make your boobs perkier. But take it from me, someone that's been doing it for 10 years, I definitely think it is the reason why my boobs are perkier. I just like how it feels to wear a bra to sleep. I do not like being braless at night. It is just something about it. Like I can be braless during the day in like a shirt that I wanted to be braless in. But it's something about being braless at night. I just feel like my boobs are super sensitive or maybe it could just be my nipples. They're super sensitive and I just don't like the feeling of my bare boobs on clothing. Like especially when I'm asleep. My boobs are kind of heavy. They're big, right? I don't like all of that weight. Like, I feel like once I take my bra off, it's just like a weight holding me down, I guess you can say. And I don't like that. So I like the feeling of like having something support them and keep them up. I don't want them to be low. Now, I will only sleep in certain types of bras. Like to me, you have a bra that you wear all day and you have a bra that you wear to sleep. I may wear a bra that I wore to sleep all day, but I will never do it the other way around. I hope that makes sense, okay? I hope it makes sense. One of the two bras that I will wear to sleep is a sports bra. Now the sports bra that I will wear, a sports bra that's not going to have a lot of compression, it's not going to like suck my boobs in. Basically the only support that the sports bra is to allow them to stay lifted. It is a sports bra that I probably wouldn't wear when I was working out because if I'm doing a lot of up and down and jumping, they're going to be bouncing all over the place. But when you're just going to sleep, you're just laying down. So this, a sports bra will actually be perfect for that because it just keeps them all together and just in one place. A disclaimer, when you wear a sports bra and you have big boobs, you get that uniboob look and then you start to sweat. And that is, one of the like worst things, like sweating in that area is just annoying. More than likely, instead of wearing like a sports bra, I actually like to wear bras that have like very to little lining. I will wear like maybe a minimizer, it would depend. I'm gonna show you which ones I would wear. I like to wear bras that don't have underwire. They're not sports bras because they're really thin. All they do is keep my boobs lifted and in one place. That's all I'm asking for. Now with the minimizers, I like them because I like that separate my boobs. So I like something that has that kind of space and that's why I prefer to wear like bras with little to no underwire compared to like a full on sports bra because the sports bra, again, is going to try to bunch them together while these bras, they're just trying to lift them and keep them in place. 
also wanted to just talk about some of the myths or just the things that I would see online. So according to John Hopkins Medicine, which they are really well known like hospital and just like medical school, they said that there is no scientific research that wearing your bra to sleep will make your boobs perkier. But I already told you guys my personal opinion and for someone that has big boobs, that's what I think. Now one thing I do want to mention is wearing a bra to sleep will not cause cancer and it will not stunt your growth for your boobs. And that is something taken from the website of John Hopkins Medicine, okay? So I don't know where this came from about causing cancer, like that just seems kind of crazy. I, I've never heard of that. So I don't really know where that one came from. <laughs> Another thing that I saw was that wearing your bra to sleep can cause like fungus because you're sweating again. My personal experience, I'm someone that has been wearing a bra to sleep for 10 years, but I've never had a fungus because I was wearing a bra to sleep or a fungus on my body from wearing a bra to sleep. I don't really know, like I, I read somewhere because you may sweat and stuff like that. Um, true, but also are you washing your bras? I wash my bras weekly, so I, I don't really know why that one was in there, but Take it from me, I don't know if I just got lucky, but I have never got a fungus and I've been wearing bras to sleep for 10 years. Another thing I saw online is that wearing a bra to sleep can cause hyperpigmentation or discoloration. Now that one may be kind of true. The reason I say that is because I have in the past seen where my boobs kind of made like a dark mark on my back. I no longer have those marks, so they weren't permanent, but from what I read, the reason why that's happening is because you're wearing a tight bra and a tight bra can cause that. Mind you, I just I told you ladies, I do not wear bras that have that's heavily padded and I don't wear bras that are uncomfortable to sleep. I only wear a certain type, two certain types of bras. All the cons that I've read about wearing a bra to sleep have been because people are wearing the wrong bra or wearing a bra that's too tight. If your bra is too tight, sis, you may need to go up a size. Sis, maybe that's the wrong bra. Sis, they do not know how to measure you correctly at Victoria's Secret, go somewhere else, okay? You shouldn't be wearing a bra that's uncomfortable to sleep. Like, if your bra is too tight, you need to go up a size. It doesn't fit, okay? Like, it shouldn't be tight. You should be able to be comfortable. I won't wear a bra that I will wear all day, a bra that's heavily padded to sleep, but I will wear a bra to sleep. That all of those myths that I saw online, most of them was because people were wearing the wrong size bra or a bra that's too tight. And we're not gonna do that here, okay? We're gonna be comfortable when we sleep. So this is one of the bras that I would wear to sleep. As you can see, it's a racer bag. No underwire, not good for working out, but for sleeping, it's definitely just keeping them good, keeping them in check. Another bra that I would wear to sleep, again, is basically the same thing as the other one. There is no underwire in this bra. All it's doing is keeping the girls up, keeping them in place. <laughs> like. Of course you wouldn't work out in this, but obviously it's just something to lounge around in. Like, it keeps them good. Now, this is the bra that I was talking about, the sports bra that I would never wear if I was working out. Maybe if I was going on a walk, but never wear it to like actually do like high intensity or if I was going to the gym to get because it doesn't really support my boobs. All it does is keep it in place, which is why I wear it to sleep makes sense. All you're doing is laying down, so when I lay down, they don't go all over the place. They don't wobble and stuff. Like, go like that. <laughs> they stay in one place. Just to wrap it all up, should you wear a bra to sleep? Honestly, sis, it is personally up to you. I think that wearing a bra to sleep has way more pros than it does cons. And if you were to ask me, and if I was giving you my opinion, which I am in this video, I say you should wear a bra to sleep. I have a friend, she also has big boobs, and she hates wearing bras to sleep. She says she feels so much relief when she gets home and she's able to take her bra off. I don't feel that same thing. So, like I said, it's just kind of what you choose to do if you like to wear a bra, then wear a bra. Like all of these myths and all of these reasons on why people tell me not to wear it, I just haven't seen anything that really is making me feel like there's any scientific reason on why I should. And like I said, if you have the correct bra, I didn't see anything wrong with wearing a bra to sleep. I also just wanna state, I am not a doctor. Again, I'm just giving you guys my little old opinion and just my personal experience from 
10 years of having big boobs. So take it as you will. But thank you for watching this video. And if you like it, please share it and give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel.